We're at Grid Life, we're at Lime Rock. Lime Rock for the first time. I can't believe it, they have full course drifting here. It's incredible. They have a lot of on-track action and they have wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. But they also have a Concours car show portion. And we came across this Lancia. This thing is so cool and it kind of stands out. I, I can tell that it's special, but I can't really quite put my finger on it. Um, so Joel is the owner and he's gonna tell us about this. So what is this actually? Yeah, so it's basically a reimagined Lancia Delta Integrale. And uh, the idea here was uh, two partners, the uh, founders of the firm, Eugenio Amos and Carlo Borromeo, uh, are of our age and, and grew up around Delta Integrales in Italy. And were really inspired by Singer, who obviously has done a great job with 9-11s and, and Eugenio thought, if a bunch of British guys working in California on a German legend can be successful reimagining it, why can't a bunch of Italian guys working in Italy on an Italian legend be successful? And so they set about the project. It was uh, about a three-year project. The car is actually engineered and developed by Podium Technologies in Aosta, who are the same folks that do Glickenhaus's Le Mans racers. And, um, and so there's quite a lot of engineering in the car. I'm glad you brought up Singer, right? So what they got famous for doing was taking more modern cars and backdating the look. I'm assuming that that's not what they did with this, right? They started yeah, exactly. with a, uh, a Delta Integrale and then they updated it. Okay, hence the name Futurista, sort of a modernized version of what would have been the Delta and in fact, it, it looks very similar. Uh, there's not a lot of changes. The changes are subtle. For example, one of the major ones is there's only two doors on the car now. It's traditionally, it starts off as a four door. Now it's a coupe. And so the entire rear section has been uh, sealed and redesigned. And so you now also have, for example, this custom glass from Bertone that did special panels for this run of vehicles. There's an integrated roll cage inside the car, so when they take the donor inside the car, it's all seam welded. Uh, you, would, you won't see it, but you'll see, for example, up on the roof, this is where it comes through. Oh, that is so and, cool. Um, and, and so they actually do a lot of work on the structure of the car before putting it back together. And then as you can see, you know, really what remains is mostly the frame of the car. They did such a good job that I didn't even realize that it was two door. That's that's the that's the design. So, Carlo Borromeo, the designer of the car, is a great talent. He also has been trained uh, in in by Walter De Silva, and and yeah, the, this is really is homage, paying homage more so than it is changing the car dramatically. And so it's integrated beautifully. You don't notice it until you know you might I might tell you. Right. So the the stock front door position is the same. Yep. But in order for it to be a lot wider than stock uh, without going crazy or whatever, they, the fact that they deleted the door, yep. and it probably becomes structural at this point too. This is a, well, the, the, the roll cage is a structural part primarily, but this is a, uh, it is steel panel, hand beaten and then welded into, the, into this section of the car. And uh, that's one of, the, one of the changes. The rear is also, this is now car new carbon fiber components, the front obviously, uh, and this rear deck lid. So you, and you have new lights, which also are subtle, but you noticeably, obviously, nicer and fresher than the original ones. What about the engine? So the engine is, is now, is really taken down just to the block built up by Autotechnica, it's engine development shop in, uh, in near Bologna. Larger turbo, much more cooling, you'll see larger, larger intercooler. Um, it now has a MoTeC ECU, so it can run two uh, profiles if you want, 250 horsepower and then 300. The other thing is the suspension now is adjustable, so with electronic dampers, soft or oh. stiff mode. 
And then of course this, you know, this part is a carbon fiber which, for which molds were made. So these carbon components are substantial development costs for just 20 vehicles, but it was, uh, it was sort of what needed to be done. So they only built 20. Yeah. They're not planning to build more. That's it. It was, uh, yeah, Eugenio was very um, of his word and he promised 20. Initially, it actually, you know, it was not as easy, it's not easy with the new new car like this to, to, to sell them. So he said, let's make, let's make 20. And uh, 20 did get sold relatively quickly. And then there was more demand, but he, he, he just felt that in order for his brand, he will do more work. There's now a rally version, much more stripped out uh, that's in development. So, but yeah, it was important to remain true to the first 20 customers that believed in the project and the team. And so, then, what chassis number is this one? This is number eight. A, yeah. Geez. And uh, did you have to buy a car and give it to him? We found a don. Yeah, we get a donor in Italy, and uh, and then uh, and from there it goes to the the shop. Because that way it retains its own the same as the original number. VIN. Yeah. So this is a. 28 year old car so it's classic plates and uh, very easy to import and we're they believe there's four of them in the u.s so is this the stock block this is the stock block it's still two liters yes but blueprinted now just really new cylinders pistons blueprinted top end cams and 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 the like uh it's, fuel it's just pump. really interesting it's so premium in that there are certain parts that were made carbon and certain parts that are left steel and then like the glass is real glass. Yeah, but for example, you're right. Every, every part that's plastic, like the handles tradition Delta was replaced with metal. These are metal now, handle metal, wow. metal dash. Oh, the tactile feel is so good too. So the interior is also, this dash is a new dash. It looks similar, but uh, it is, a, it is a new dash. These buttons! Yeah. Are you kidding me? You so they, look at they, this, they uh, rock. This, yep, have a look at the, oh, this is like, uh, there's just too much. <laughs> this is the, uh, that's the rev. Yeah, rev lights, gear indicator. So look stock, it looks similar, but you'll see it's Automobiliamos branded dashboard. It's the same font and colors as the original. New it's wheel <laughs> from Momo oh, controls. This, this is the levity button. Activates the brights. Yeah, the yeah, right, right. It's very Power useful. Mode. Useful in Italy, right? Exactly. In Italian roads. Exactly. Just incredible. The attention yeah. to detail is so good. And yeah, why not? Why is it? Why is it that it's taken this long? You know, for somebody for to this, do something. This is such an iconic car. Well, you know, there's 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 been versions of this that, that are variants, but they're always on the same four door base, because frankly, it's very expensive to develop something like this and do it so that it comes out in this way, not as a kit car. Frankly, again, it's it's very expensive, and this isn't this isn't a good business to build 20 cars and engineer them and make custom molds. So most people don't do it because it's much easier to just modify a base Delta Integrale, boost it up change the steering wheel, do a few cosmetic short shifter and flip it for a little profit than to, to spend so much time and energy for really not much return. But it, it's just, this was a passion project and that's for me what was attractive when I heard and talked to Eugenio, but it was clear. He really, like this was a mission in life for him to do the best possible work that could be done for this car and that they would do it the right service right and and uh and it's also you know uh it, it means a lot i'm sure for you because you know you you have quite the collection i know you have a lot of fast cars that are way more in terms of like high performance but this is so much more just about the feel the texture the the joy of driving well it's also like i grew up in milan in italy so this when i went to high school the one kid that had an integrale was the Lord, it was sort of the, the car. So there's a very much more sort of personal connection to it. And yeah, in general, I love analog cars. And I also love in particular the people behind the cars. And this, that, that was what to me was the appeal here. Not that it's fast, but it's actually entirely usable. You can have four, four people in it, 
you can go to the shops. Yeah, so they, um, as air conditioning. Yeah, these are all, all these seats are custom. Recaro made these seats. It, it's interesting that they got rid of the doors, but they retained yeah, yeah. the back. Yeah, because it's practical. Again, Eugenio needed to be able to carry his kids. So you do, uh, you know, you do have your, your seats and, uh, and luggage space and the like. It smells like a new car. Yeah, it, it is a new car. <laughs> yeah. Like this, this is so impressive. I've never yeah. seen anything like this. So they, they just, Metal, yeah. they just rock a little bit yeah, um, for you to be able to. Exactly. Very, uh, very nice touch. Really, really cool. But this is the kind of thing that those guys are into. The feel mm -hmm. of the buttons and materials and um, incredible. Doing I mean, just just the right amount. The latches, uh, just opening the doors. No, again, just changing materials and really rethinking what would the right way to do this car today be is and uh, yeah. yeah the wheels too the wheel and tire package but, it's kind of like a throwback to the stock exactly. wheels but they just have, way these bigger turbo fan looking wheels but these are also unique to these this series of cars this sort of color combination is uh this is azzurro stratos it's a uh, color from the 1970 stratos rally car blue and gold so uh, figured that that sort of was uh, the, uh, the colorful choice of the, of the historic liveries. Um, but it, wheels look gold. Cool. You look back at it, just, just step back and it just looks so it's good. It's the right shape. Yeah, it's incredible. And you know what? It, it also is probably so usable. Yeah, it's actually the, the better. It's very fun to drive. It's right. like that's, we've only talked about static so far, but the actual driving is, is really excellent because you have probably the, the new front double wishbone suspension gives you very nice turn in. The brakes work super well. The whole yeah, front end is, is carbon. Yeah, yeah, this is a new front fascia. What do people say when they see this? It's, they, they, they don't know what it is, but they like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, it just, it looks fun. It's a fun, hot hatch and uh, Yes, that, that generally appears fun color. So it just looks like a fun little uh, sporty car. All right, so we're gonna take a quick spin. That's the start button, this a rocket. It. <laughs> it's the little touches. I know you have quite the collection. We definitely have to come by your shop to kind of yes. check out some more of the cars. Definitely. Yeah. This is the, uh, you've seen the daily driver. Yeah. Do you drive this track a lot? Yeah. I'm uh, one of the new uh, owners. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. We bought the track from Skip uh, last year. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, so, it's so from how my many childhood. Owners, how many owners are there? Uh, I think there's maybe 15 or so. Like oh. a small group, 10, 12, 15. I, uh, I'm a so, small, just small partner. Miller is the, one of the main owners. So, cause I've, I've, I came here for the last Grand Am race. Yep. But I haven't been back since and th this, first drift session was the first time I've ever driven the track. As an owner, what do you think about this event, Grid Life? It's great, I love it. I think it's excellent to have this new, like fresh, uh, different audience, just a, a fresh take on things. It's so part of it, it, it's interesting for me because I know this is the third oldest track in the US, yep. right? Our local track, uh, Willow Springs yep. in, in Southern California is yep. the oldest. Yep. But, um, you know, motorsport has changed so much. Yep. And also the car enthusiasts in general have yeah, changed absolutely. so much. So to get these new enthusiasts exactly. into... Right, you need something fresh. Yeah. And I, I, I exactly, I think, you know, for my kids, that's uh, pretty much the appeal is these kinds of, this kind of stuff is more appealing, say, than the traditional racing. It's great, because it's yeah. a motorsport festival. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, that sounds so good. <laughs> that sound of the turbo is, yeah, you want it to sound very turbo-y. So, and the, the uh, gearing is very short, short huh? Yeah, short. Yeah. So it, it is like a rally car yeah. through and through. It's very uh, incredible. I have a little rattle in this so bolt I need to fix it here, but no, it's pretty much uh, as you would imagine, like for a good hill climb vehicle. <laughs> oh my God. I see why you would like running errands in this thing. Right? You could just 
because you, you just ripped. You could you could go through the gears and you're realistically not even going that fast. Exactly. Yeah. You can you can exactly you can push and not too It's perfect for these Connecticut backpacks. Exactly. Love it, love it, love it. I uh, much prefer these sort of mid mid power cars than than the sort of you know modern supercar just because yeah. you can use them right and like that's it's more about agility and plus this has so momentum. much ground clearance too yeah you don't you're not worried about bombing out exactly you can just use it sound is so good and it, everything feels tight everything yeah, feels good, uh, the brakes feel well incredible yeah brakes are it's that's the benefit of the modernization is you do get the mechanicals are fresh and uh, the handling is feels good everything works have you taken this online rock i have done uh more not really like uh, in in like uh, no, yeah, basically not yet. Because I actually just I've actually used it mostly for back road jaunts, and the right. past few I've, I've only had it here in the states for about six months. Got it. And so the it. last times I was here, I used I, I just used some other cars. Basically, mm -hmm. it didn't really occur to me to use this one as much. Right. Um, but this is more of a street car anyway. Yeah. Well, this yeah. one is like ideal for getting here. Right, because you can basically just <laughs> you can really blast around this the, the back roads. Incredible, it's so good. And, and but it doesn't have much straight line top speed. Yeah, which so, is you know, okay. You get to yeah, but you know you'd get to, you get to the straight and it wouldn't feel like pushing, but maybe only doing a hundred by the end or uh, something like that. That is so cool. Well, sure. you okay. know you. Uh, <laughs> Talking to an owner of the track, it's super cool um, that the organization as a whole is open to having a new motorsport festival like Grid Life. Awesome. Um, hopefully, this will be an oh, annual thing. Dickie. How are you, Dicky? <laughs> Ho hopefully, this will be an That's annual the CEO. thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hopefully, the CEO likes this. <laughs> likes us coming here. How are you? How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. Nice to see you. That's why your badge I, says owner. <laughs> I, I really hope to see it for sure. I'm going to do my best to, uh, to promote it myself. How are you guys? Yeah, and on top of that, you know, um, it kind of opens the floodgates for more. And different, exactly, different kinds of events, different kinds of audience. Yeah. And use the track more. I, I, the idea is... How can you, how, you know, how can a track be used for fresh kinds of events? And um, it's just really about being open-minded, trying things. Yeah, and part of it also, while I love uh, sports car racing here, and when it's, you know, supercars, this, that, and the other, it's a little harder for the younger generation to kind of relate to that yeah, kind agree, of racing. Yeah, agree, agree. And, you know, you look at the paddock here, it's mostly street cars. Yep. And they're still able to enjoy motorsports this way. And that's that's what I like about it. Yeah, I it's, think it's, it's very inclusive. Cool. Yeah. It's so cool. Well, yeah, thank you so much for showing us this. My pleasure, Larry. This thing is so cool. Yeah. I love it. I look love forward it. to catching up on yeah. other vehicles soon. Yeah, I can't wait.